good morning again. These mornings, they just seem to be rolling by so fast. Uh, I'm noticing it stopped snowing about three hours ago. It was snowing pretty good. And I think everything that uh, hit the ground is melted. So that's, that's kind of good news. It means it's not going to be here all day and make the streets slippery. Uh, today is grocery day, by the, by the way. And uh, yeah, so the reason I thought of slippery streets is because any minute now, my neighbor's going to be going out to retrieve the groceries. <laughs> we'll be getting those later. Anyway, I did come back to the model table. And we got our paint, our plane painted. Uh, yeah, let's let's do the rollback and uh, see how we got to this place. Okay, so here's the plan this afternoon. I was noticing before that uh, when I was holding the plane up here under the under the nut and I was all zoomed in, that the background was so busy that it sort of took away from the detail of the plane. So that's, that's why I've got this white cloth here, or uh, paper towel rather. And uh, we'll, we'll get this out of the way, that was part of the problem. And uh, I'm just going to go and plug everything in now and uh, I, I think we're going to be good to go. The, uh, oh. Alright, now we're going to I'm going to start out with uh, low pressure and slowly work my way up until it until it goes. I'm going to try and keep the pressure as low as possible. And uh, I, I'm I'm thinking that it's going to probably spray okay. Maybe maybe not quite as good if I had to use regular thinner, but we'll we'll soon know here. Let's go get the uh, air turned on.
once again, I'm hoping I didn't put it on too heavy. It doesn't seem to be running or slumping, at least uh, not from what I can see. Uh, we'll just let that dry and uh, I, I think it's covered pretty good actually. It went a lot faster than I thought. Sure a lot faster than painting with a brush, that's for sure. Well, it seems that putting the uh, Iwata acrylic paint retarder in this uh, alumin aluminum type paint, <clears throat> it seemed to work out pretty good. It, it sprayed quite well. Uh, at first I was having a problem with the airbrush. I, I don't know. Uh, I had to increase the pressure quite a bit. I think I was up to around 20 pounds before I got it to actually spray right. It either seemed to spray too heavy or not at all, but but it did the job. <clears throat> and and looking at it now, it's, it's probably still a little bit tacky. I haven't I haven't touched it, so I don't know how how, how dry or not dry it is. Uh, I'm guessing about half an hour at least has passed since we sprayed this, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I think that once we get a, a few of the little details painted, like the uh, uh, the the windows and uh, uh, the propeller and the and the engine cylinders, I, I think it's probably gonna. Oh, and, and the tires. We'll have to paint the tires black. <laughs> uh, yeah, see if I can manage to just paint just the tire part and keep the hub silver. Probably end up having to paint the silver over again. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not going to go to a lot of work over this because we've got a lot of work to do yet on our Rodney. There's a long ways to go yet. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work on this some more and get it done and then uh, then we'll be, uh, I think the next the next thing is the hull. Now I, I've said that for about two weeks now. <laughs> Maybe three weeks. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I'd forgotten that I had this stuff. I, you know, I did use it before and I was happy with it and I'm happy with it again. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm guessing approximately four hours has passed since we uh, sprayed this. And uh, uh, this uh, paint retarder sort of bring, brings back memories from when I did it before and it does give the the flat paint like this is this is supposed to be uh, flat aluminum okay it's an XF plate paint and I, from what I understand the F stands for flat um, makes sense to me anyway however it looks glossy and I do re recall that the paint retarder gave the whatever it was bef we tried before uh, a sort of a glossy finish and I haven't, I haven't tried this but I, I would I would think it's probably not going to mark no it, it's a tiny bit sticky a tiny bit sticky so I'm gonna you know leave it till, till overnight before I try to do any handling of it that was the first time I actually tried it and then <clears throat> we'll try and, and paint the cylinders and the propeller some kind of black and then I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it evenly or not but I'd like to get yellow yellow on the tips of the propeller the way it was in that in that photograph that we looked at yesterday of that, of that one that was in the museum and then one one of the viewers suggested a month or so ago that and, and I did buy it some uh, where is it here okay clear blue now I don't know how that's gonna go or not it, it might sort of bring the, the windows out at least I, I'm assuming that's that's what he had in mind for it um, yeah so anyway uh, and then we'll paint our paint our little tires black and uh, try and leave the the uh, hubs silver and then I, I think that's probably about all we can really do on this thing. Uh, <clears throat> I, I can't think of anything else that we we could do 
painting wise to you know make it look better um i think i think it's probably going to really stand out on top of that catapult that we made it was uh, sprayed that uh what was it, the 56 that everybody loved <laughs> okay you know what what do we got here 13 minutes after 7 i'm going to call it quits for today so uh thanks for watching everybody <laughs> and all being well we'll be seeing you in the morning Usually right about now I say, well, it's morning. But you know, I can't say that right now. Yeah, we're just not getting anywhere fast here today. Okay, now I've decided not to paint the cylinders black. I'm going to paint them the number 77, the dark gray. Uh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually be able to do on camera because I'm going to be wanting to turn it this way and that way. And, um, oh, before I forget, um, when I mounted the, uh, the plane on, on the, uh, end of this piece of sprue, I should not have used the, uh, CA thin. Um, I should have used CA glue, uh, or, or the Tamiya extra thin, I mean, I should have used CA glue because... I would have been able to sort of just snap it off easily after I was done. Now I'm kind of worried that there's the possibility that when I break this off, I'm going to actually pull a hole right through in the top of the lower wing. I, I, I don't think that will happen, but it could. Maybe I, I'd be best off to take my uh, Tamiya nippers and just try and nip it flush. That might be the best way to go. And, and then uh, if there's anything protruding down, then sort of sand it out somehow. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're not going to be seeing the, the plane except from this this angle anyway. So if there's damage going on under there, I wasn't too worried about it. However, as long as we're talking about that, uh, one of the viewers had a much better idea. He said that what he does is he he would he drills a small hole. He would have drilled a small hole in the bottom of the of the uh, fuselage here, uh, maybe possibly just back of the step. At least that's, that's where I'm thinking. I would have drilled it, and then and then just insert a, a toothpick or something like that. That would have been a much better idea I, than than what I did. I, I made a mistake there, but uh, that's that's the way it goes. Too soon, old. Too late, smart. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can do something here. Um, as I say, I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to actually do on camera, but but we'll give it a try. I, I guess the way to go is. Maybe paint the paint it from the underneath first. It, I guess it doesn't really matter, and and it doesn't matter if I get any any of the dark gray on the propeller as I'm going in there because I'm going to be painting the the, the blades black anyway, and then I'm going to try for the yellow tips. But we'll talk about the yellow when we get to it. All right, let's uh, let's sort of recompose here a little bit. Put this in such a way that I can maybe do this on camera now um, obviously you can't see in there we both have to be able to see in at the same time and that's the problem now I think I can I think I can get in like this okay let me get the macro lens on so that you can see me uh, make a mess here what everybody has been waiting for the rabbit update <laughs> it was about 7:15 yesterday morning that i put out the rabbit pellets and we received our first furry guest at 7:43 then again at 8:03 and about 40 minutes later hey missy get out of there <laughs> 9.24 11.14 7.30 in the evening Missy! 
<laughs> Missy was our last furry guest. Anyway, uh, this morning is starting to snow. And we're going to be having soggy pellets. I'll just throw them into the grass. They'll become insect food. We gotta keep the ecosystem going, right? I might have to do two coats here. All right, let's just uh, let's just turn that to another position. Now I'm thinking in order to get the the front of the cylinders it's going to be almost impossible. So I'm not going to even try. I'm just going to have it so that when it's viewed from the back and where the engine is basically sticking out. Now I don't want to be touching the wing. As I said, I don't don't really mind if I get it on the propeller. I'll try and get the. Whoops. Okay, I, th I think I basically got. I basically got the. Uh, this half of it. Now I'll just swing it around and get the other half. Okay, I realize that I'm really blocking the light here. I can well imagine without looking at the monitor that my ISO is really cranking, but that's okay. All right. I'll get the top of this cylinder here. You probably can't see it. Okay, I'm just going to twist this around now and See how it looks. It could be that the under the underside of the engine needs to be done a little bit. Although, mind you, we're not going to see it from that side anyway. Um, between these two cylinders, I need a little. Okay, get the front of the crankcase done here. Now the propeller is going to be black. I would imagine that. Um, the hub, in all reality, would probably have been silver, some kind of some kind of metal. I'll just I'll just paint the I'll just paint it the light gray here. I don't think that this was a uh, variable pitched prop. I think it was uh, fixed pitch, and it could be to change the pitch. They probably loosened bolts right here twisted the blades to whatever they needed and then tightened them back up again. At least, uh, on the other hand, it could have been variable pitch, but I don't think that was uh, too common at that that, uh, that early yet, but uh, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll let that dry. Oh, is there a little spot in here? It looks kind of white. Okay, we'll let that dry and see how it looks and then the next thing will be to paint the blades black. Yeah. 
Now as I'm on my way back from my neighbors with my makeshift shopping cart, I hear this racket going on in the backyard, so I pause and I look, and here's a fluffle of rabbits back there, and they're just cursing me out. They're all upset. Yeah, how dare I put out rabbit pellets when it's going to rain. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll be forgiven. We got the fresh carrots out now, and we're probably good for a week or two. Okay, so I think on this happy note, I'm going to end today's episode. And, uh, yeah, neighbor's coming over for coffee uh, later, and uh, I got other stuff that I want to do. I will probably work on this again tonight. So, thanks for watching, everybody. All being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>